A brief introduction to Taichung District Agricultural Research and Extension Station, Council of Agriculture. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Taichung District Agricultural Research and Extension Station. The station was established in 1902 and in 1984 was moved to Datsun Township, Jianghua County, covering an area around 50 hectares. What's more, Poli Branch Station. Covering a 17-hectare area was established in Nantou County. The station is in charge of agricultural research application and promotion in the district, supporting the development of quality technology and sustainable agriculture, cooperating with counterparts from different countries, as well as achieving the goal of building a healthy, excellent, and efficient Lohas agriculture. Under Crop Improvement Division, our rice crop and rice quality research. Special and upland crops research, vegetable research, pomology research, floriculture research, biotechnology research, and farm management research. In earlier times, the station bred the world-renowned rice varieties Taichung Number、no. Sixty Five and Taichung Native Number、no. One. In recent years, it has aggressively pursued the objectives of good quality yield and diversification. Breeding well-known varieties such as Taichung Sen Number、no. Ten, Taichung Number、no. Nine, Basmati Rice, Long-grained Glutinous Rice, and Big-grain Japonica Glutinous Rice. Apart from helping different experimental stations evaluate the quality of new varieties, the Rice Quality Laboratory enhances rice diversification and development of processed rice products. It has also established production management technologies for growing organic and high-quality rice, thus raising the competitiveness of domestic rice. Special and upland crops research is responsible for selecting and breeding import substitute and special crops suitable for central Taiwan, as well as improving cultivation techniques to develop local specialties and increase food self-sufficiency ratio. The station has bred new species of sorghum, wheat, Job's tears, and buckwheat. In addition to selection and breeding of liquor-use sorghum species and heat-tolerant wheat species, it has focused on the development of low seed shattering for Job's tears and labor-saving cultivation techniques for corn. Via cooperation with academia and industry, it has also developed health products such as Job's tears and buckwheat. While selection and development of other health-caring crops such as echinacea and flax are well underway, vegetable research aims to select and breed species with excellent quality and tolerance to stressful environments, improve protected as well as organic vegetable cultivation techniques, and emphasize vegetables' nutritional content development. The station has bred more than 20 new varieties such as potted pea, common bean, cabbage. Chinese kale, leafy radish, oil rape, and tomato, particularly for multi-purpose potted pea varieties and heat-tolerant cabbage. In terms of cultivation techniques, we have developed forcing culture of garlic, V-shaped pruning technique for eggplant, protected vegetable cultivation, organic water bamboo cultivation, and organic tomato seedling cultivation. What's more. The station developed a low-height combination greenhouse for leafy vegetables, and dynamic root floating (DRF) hydroponic system, which will help boost growth in the vegetable industry. Pomology research has already led to the cultivation of grape varieties Taichung Number、no. One to Number、no. Four, whose special flavors are suitable for making wine. Experimental studies were conducted using greenhouses and electric lighting methods to regulate production season. The station also bred pear varieties suited to Taiwan's low and mid elevation areas, Taichung Number、no. One to Number、no. Three varieties. It established red dragon fruit cultivation and management techniques to improve fruit quality using electric lighting to regulate production season. To enhance the competitiveness of export fruit. We employed guava nethouse cultivation methods, gave demonstrations of cultivation techniques, and improved post-harvest processing techniques. Floriculture research has successfully bred Taichung Number、no. One to Number、no. Eight chrysanthemum varieties, of which Number、no. Six to Number、no. Eight are heat-tolerant summer chrysanthemums. 
Experimental studies confirm the benefits of using LED light bulbs on chrysanthemums, reducing the cost of electric lighting. The station also conducted breeding of dendrobium and selective breeding of Taichung number no. 1 to number no. 3 varieties. For Oncidium orchids, we selectively bred early flowering purple elf and lightly fragrant sweet smile Oncidium and established a method of sodium lighting to regulate the production season. To improve the quality of export cut flowers, we created a Lysianthus eustoma database and developed mulching cultivation techniques, a plant growth regulator application, as well as storage preservation technology. Biotechnology research is devoted to the development of health products, molecular marker-assisted breeding, and species molecular identification. Such health-caring products as lemon balm, rose hydrosol, and echinacea have been developed and commercialized. Molecular identification techniques for rice, grapes, potted pea, and chrysanthemum have been built. In the future, we would focus on the development of crops' added values and the application of molecular marker-assisted breeding to help upgrade the industry and shorten the breeding time. Under the Crop Environment Division are plant protection research, biological materials application research, soil and fertilizer research, and agricultural machinery research. Plant protection research continuously strives to develop techniques for preventing plant diseases and insect pests on crops, identifying and diagnosing insect pests on crops, monitoring important insect pests on crops in the district, and assisting farmers to use pesticides safely. The station completed technology transfer of Ma Bamboo virus-free seed production technology, Asian phosphoric acid formula, and residue-free greenhouse cucumber production system and management techniques. We also aggressively developed integrated crop pest management strategies, which led to the release of taro disinfection technology, greenhouse grape integrated diseases and pest management strategies, as well as pest and disease management for summer garlic chives. Biological materials application research focuses on developing local biological and microbiological resources for the sources of biological fertilizers and pesticides and building a safe and friendly agricultural ecology through field and industry application. Such techniques as biological compost and liquid fertilizers by means of using microbial strains and sex pheromone formula to attract rice leaf folder and rice stem borer have been successfully developed and transferred. In recent years, aggressively selecting microbial strains with bacteria-resistant potentials and getting involved in development and application of biological pesticides to reduce the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides have been going on. Soil and fertilizer research concentrates on developing and promoting integrated management techniques for soil as well as related areas such as organic farming. In recent years, the station has conducted analyses of soil fertility and diagnoses of crop nutrition and held demonstrations at different production sites to promote rational use of fertilizer. Combining techniques such as green manures, lime materials and foliar fertilization, we've endeavored to establish crop fertilization management in local areas. Agricultural machinery research aims to improve orchard management efficiency, shorten traditional processing procedure, improve cultivation management efficiency, conserve energy, and cut carbon dioxide emissions. R&D results have secured a number of patents and technology transfer for industrial use, such as the integrated application of wireless environment monitoring and automatic fertigation systems, which saves water and electricity and improves management efficiency. In addition, we demonstrated the techniques of crop cultivation powered by solar energy and developed a vegetable vertical cultivation bed frame to increase land utilization and crop yield. Puli Branch Station is located in the mountains at 625 meters above sea level in Uchur Township, Nanto County, whose functions are to improve the varieties of slopeland economic crops. In recent years, the station has been dedicated to the R&D of Cymbidium breeding and cultivation techniques and successfully bred the new variety Cymbidium Taijong No. 1. 
The station is also dedicated to developing techniques for orchid tissue culture, flowering regulation, post-harvest handling and storage for export, and has transferred these techniques to farmers for practical application. Under the Agricultural Extension Division are Extension Education Research, Rural Living Research, Agricultural Management Research, and Farmers and Customers Service Center. In the area of Extension Education Research, we've set up a Farmers College, provide professional training for farmers and extension workers, promote 4-H club activities, and publish a monthly magazine. We also make available the latest information regarding agricultural technology so that farmers can upgrade their knowledge and skills. In terms of international cooperation, presidents, ministers and scholars from friendly countries often come to visit the station. Cooperative trainings have also been held. Rural Living Research and Information Dissemination helps farmers improve their lives and farm women to manage their sidelines assist development of local food specialties and souvenirs for boutiques and department stores, and provides counseling and leisure agriculture development in rural communities and leisure farms. Via these offerings, we strive to build a comfortable and leisurely Lojas agricultural lifestyle. The station also disseminates information regarding agricultural technology and product consumption, publishing relevant agricultural news and maintaining contact with the media. The main goals of agricultural management research are to carry out the investigation of product and industry management and the analysis of production costs, diagnosis and management assistance for agricultural production and marketing teams, promotion of product traceability and assisting in applications for product safety inspection certificates, improvement of grading and packing and produce transportation guidance, business counseling for farmers associations, promoting an agricultural corporate synergy system and planning of specialized agricultural production zones. The counseling platform at Farmers and Customers Service Center provides all kinds of professional information regarding agricultural techniques for farmers and customers, arranges site visits, helps farmers identify and prevent outbreaks of crop pests and diseases. In addition, we provide farmers and consumers with immediate access to the latest government decrees and regulations, advanced techniques and consumption information. Taiwan's agriculture is facing the transformation of production system and the impact of trade liberalization, which makes the agricultural problems more complicated. Our colleagues at the station, based on the established policies, take advantage of the station's local and professional predominance through breeding excellent species improving production techniques and building counseling service for farm management help farmers improve their management techniques, improve their professional know-how and management efficiency and better their lives to achieve the goal of revitalizing agricultural economics, pushing the agricultural development in central Taiwan and upgrading industry competitiveness. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a brief introduction to Taichung District Agricultural Research and Extension Station, Council of Agriculture. Thank you for listening.